Today's tackle hack uh, is a swim bait style head modification that I started doing several years ago and I've used some with some really good success on the FLW Pro Circuit uh, and the Bass Opens. I've had some really high finishes, especially when fishing spotted bass. Uh, and what I'm talking about here, so th this is, I carry this box everywhere with me. This is a, a box full of dirty jigs, mat stuff, and guppy heads. But you can see some of the rows are a little different. They've got uh, some heads that have some propellers on them. And so basically what I, I wanted something that would disperse a little bit more water and uh, just attract the fish in off colored water. You know, anytime you're throwing smaller swim baits, it really seems to be a clear water technique. And I had some instances on some spotted bass fisheries where I was in some off colored water and I just felt like I needed something to draw them more. Uh, so I started messing around with adding blades to my swim bait heads. And uh, in this case, what I use are Dirty Jigs swim bait heads. Um, you know, they come in multiple to a pack and they come with two hook keepers on them. If you can see it like that. And uh, this works great because I can take those hook keepers off and put on all the components for the propeller. Uh, you know, it also, it, a lot of swim uh, swim bait heads work that either have either that single hook keeper on it like that or have a corkscrew that you can cut off uh, the the guppy head doesn't work great uh, just because it's got the stacked cone lead pour down the hook shank and you, you know you could try to scrape it off it just is a lot more work than you need to do so you know this is another simple simple technique uh, or simple fix to install this. And what you're gonna need in this case are of course your swim bait jig heads uh, of whatever choice you wanna use. Uh, you're gonna want some of these cup washers. I don't know if you can see them all that great. Uh, cup washers that you can get pretty much from any tackle craft company. These are from Netcraft, Barlow's carries them. Uh, you know, they're just really small cupped washers. And I use anywhere from 5 30 seconds up to a quarter inch cup washer. And then you're going to want your propellers. And in this case, I use number three size or number two size. Twos are smaller. Um, and those, again, you can get at any tackle craft store. But I use the smaller size for lighter jig heads if I'm throwing finesse swim baits. Uh, you know anything in that 2.8 or 3.3 size <clears throat> and then if I'm going larger uh, heads for like ledge fishing at that point then I'll throw uh, the bigger the bigger blade and the last thing you're gonna need is again uh, some shrink tubing shrink tubing really is something that I use on a lot of things and it's uh, it's a material that I keep in the boat as well because uh, there are times you need it for not fishing related instances, but just for, for boating marine issues. So what you want to do is you take your swim bait head and a, player, a pair of pliers or just by hand, uh, you just break off the hook keepers. There's one. They come off pretty easily, they're just glorified staples. So you're left with just the head and the hook shank. And in this case, then you want to take your first cup washer and you want to thread it on so that the, uh, the indented portion of the washer, I guess, is down. So this, the, the narrow part will be closer to the blade. Then you take your blade, thread that up and on. Then you take your second cup washer and you put that again so that the pointed side is pointing to the blade. And what that does is it kind of gives a, a simple pinch point for the blade and it keeps it spinning easily. So at this point that's your blade and you've got the components on there. And what you'd need to do then is come up with a way 
to keep all that uh, up nor up towards the top where it can spin freely. And that's where the shrink tubing comes in. So what you want to do is cut a piece of shrink tubing uh, that will give you a little bit of play room for your propeller to move around and then reach to about the, the shank of the hook or where the bend in the, the hook starts. And it, usually it's like a three quarter inch piece or an inch long piece depending on the hook shank. But uh, if you were just to try to thread that on, it really has trouble coming around the barb. So what I do is I take some scissors and cut up about half the way up the shrink tubing. And then you can thread that on. You find the gap in, in your cut and you can thread it on. And then you just kind of lay it flat. Again, it's shrink tubing, so you just need to melt it on the shank. And in this case, I really, you know, I, I really don't mind if it has some bubbles or has some creases in it, because what that shrink tubing will do is act as a, as a hook keeper or a bait keeper. It really holds your bait on really, really well. Uh, so in this case, you know, that becomes rock solid and you've got a propeller on your blade and you know, when you hook on your swim baits, the key to it is you really want to slide it up uh, and get one out for you. This is a 2.8 power swimmer. It's a little bit small for this head, but the the key when you slide it up is you want to slide your uh, your bait up to like the top of your of your uh, shrink tubing, and it really really holds well. And then that first bottom cup will act, you know, it'll kind of fit over the nose of your bait, and it'll keep the prop away from hitting hitting the top of your bait, which allows it to spin free, uh, spin freely in the water. And, you know, this bait has really caught me some very, very big spotted bass. It's one that uh, I took a top 10 fishing a bass open on uh, Lewis Smith Lake in Alabama. And I just felt like I was getting more bites and better quality bites with that blade. I've since kind of created some bigger ones uh, for ledge fishing down on the Tennessee Valley uh, TVA lakes. And I find again that, you know, it's something a little different. I don't ever see anyone throwing anything like it. Uh, and it just gets me a lot of, a lot of bites. And it really shines anytime you've got a little bit of off colored water. That's what I really like about it. Um, and you can kind of spice them up. Like in this case, I like putting a chartreuse blade on if I'm fishing for smallmouth or if I'm fishing for spotted bass, um, uh, and you can vary the blade sizes. You know, you can go, like I mentioned before, you can go to Netcraft or Barlow's or um, any tackle tackle craft company. And they have tons and tons of variations of blades and components, <laughs> components that you can use. Uh, in this case, these are the components that I like and they work really well for me. And uh, I've got a little bit of footage where I'm, I'm just throwing the baits down by the bank so you can see how they run. Uh, but you, you keep the wobble of the bait and you just have a little bit of that propeller action creating more disturbance. Alright guys, here's our finished product. This is a, a dirty jig swim bait head with the propeller we added and a 3.3 power swimmer. See it does not take much effort at all to uh, get that blade going. It's such a small blade that you really can work this bait really well just by kind of letting it fall on a pendulum. Uh, it drives the, the spotted bass crazy. The smallmouth love it. Give it a try. I highly recommend it. If you uh, like this video, please give it a like. Give me a follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, guys.